Good day sir. Thanks Chris. Do you still remember all layers in the OSI model? Yeah. Good. The OSI is a conceptual model. How do you mean? Conceptual means it explains network communications, because its layers are very detailed. But the actual protocols used for internet communications are from the protocol suite of TCP IP. Wow! I didn't know that. What is the TCP IP model? Hello guys! Welcome to my presentation on Computer Network Operations and we'll talk about the TCP IP model. We will be discussing the following concepts. Brief history of the TCP IP protocol suite, a breakdown of the TCP IP model, and some features of the TCP IP model. TCP IP is an acronym for Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. It is a networking model just like the OSI model, but what really is the TCP IP model? Let's take it all back to the 1970s. In the 1970s, the United States Department of Defense, they had a branch within it, which was responsible for research and development of emerging technologies. It's called DARPA. DARPA was managing a wide area network called ARPANET, which was used for network communications before the existence of the internet. We can call ARPANET the old internet. With special help from two scientists at DARPA, the TCP IP model was designed and this model was developed over time. Many models existed with some undergoing development. Some of them are TCP IP, SNA model, OSI model, and Novell Netware model. However, when the internet was to be designed, many designers chose the TCP IP model as the most suitable with which the internet will be built. ARPANET implemented TCP IP to become the internet that we know today. Some protocols from the TCP IP protocol suite can be seen here. This protocol suite was formed from two core protocols, Transmission Control Protocol and the Internet Protocol. They basically define how the internet works. The internet is commonly referred to as a packet switch network because the core protocol TCP is responsible for breaking large data into smaller packets that can be easily transmitted over the network. Then the IP is responsible for routing these packets to ensure that they get to the right destination based on IP addresses. Finally, TCP reassembles these packets so it can be understood by the receiver. The end-to-end -end reliability of TCP guarantees that if any packet is lost during transmission, TCP ensures that these lost packets are always retransmitted. Let's go back to our slide. Generally, networks are primarily managed by upper layer and lower layer protocols. All models fit in this classification. The first three layers of the TCP IP focuses on upper layer operations and the bottom layer focuses on the lower layer operations. Upper layers determine how data is generated processed and logically delivered between end devices, while the lower layer is concerned with how the data is carried over the transmission media and through the physical network. This makes the standards used at the lower layer to be dependent on the size of the network and the technology used on it. The IEEE 802.3 standards define the lower layer operation of Ethernet on a local area network. What makes the TCP IP model so great? 1. It uses a client and server architecture. The device running the service or possessing the file or folder is a server. The client initiates a connection to the server in order to get the file. Secondly, it provides reliable end-to-end -end transmission with TCP. Third, it can be used to provide remote access and login over a computer network and deliver web pages from a web server, like in the case of HTTP and HTTPS. It supports many protocols that help to route traffic. And finally, just like the OSI model, it does not depend on the operating system. Many devices have TCP IP implementation in order to access the internet. Check out the questions on the next slide. 
Watch out for the physical layer same time next week to understand the various wired media used for data transmission. If you learned something from this video, please like, subscribe and share so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.